Good morning from a very wet, windy and moist Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Moist? I hate that word moist. You hate the word moist? Well, it's black tea blackout stuff, isn't it? They like that word. I hope moist. moist. Do you not I'm like moist. Do you not like the black seat, the back seat blackout boys? I'm not, to be honest, I'm not actually, actually watch any of Chris's stuff, so. Moist. <laughs> Very moist, those boys. Yeah. And uh, Mr. Butt is back. He's not in orange, he's in bright red and shorts. Because yeah. people with curly hair are not the only people who wear shorts in the rain. Um, and <laughs> Manchester has it has inhabitants and it does this all the time so yeah and apparently there's some world record stuff going on there is uh, I believe you two are going to be having a go oh no see how many pairs of underpants you can put on in 60 seconds or something like that Jesus well oh, Mike's Mike's not got many layers on anyway so he'll be all right yeah so yeah oh, nice the not on yet, so. nice well they are they're coming from the sky True. Yeah, mildly moist day yeah. is in the offing. Uh, you blamed me earlier, didn't you? Yes, Cause... every time you come here it rains. Well, not the last, not end of March, but start of March it did. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Rain, rain, go away. Come back tomorrow when I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. First ride of the day on the big one. We will be extremely moist after this. This is going to work. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's going to be like a thousand pins to the <laughs> eyes. Looking forward to it, Mike. Oh yeah. Good stuff. In front there, Mr. Mushroom is vlogging, so I won't steal all his thunder. <laughs> See you after a ride on the big one. So we've just been on the big one twice. The revolution. Mark, how was the big one running? Yeah, it was running well. Running quite fast. Airtime or no airtime? A little bit airtime on the back row. A little on bit. Back row. Was it rough? A little bit at the back. Rough. 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 Did rough. you give, give you a headache, Mike? Only the only the bullet stop. I'm nothing to do with the ride. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all right. I just read some comments the other day that the big one's really rough these days. I don't know what you think about that. Okay. KC what? Casey what? After you, sir. Go on, carry on. Do you think it's rough or not? No. No. Yeah, I, I don't know if you saw the comments. I, I personally don't find it rough at all. I find the, uh, there's other rides that are a lot rougher, to be honest. One of them's over there and not operational today. Yeah. Well, we won't name names. Thank you very much. So, you're looking forward to going on Roller Coaster, also known as Nickelodeon Street? I am. You are, you are, you are. Best Woody on Park, which which is it? Mouse. Mouse? Yeah. Best Woody at the Pleasure Beach? The squeaky one. The squeaky, the squeaky one. one? Yeah, what? my mouse. Yeah. But you're on. So, we're discussing the subject of paid entry at Pleasure Beach. So. Are you for or against the six pound entry charge? Well, it doesn't bother me. No. But do, well, do you think it affects on Pleasure Beach's custom in any way? Neg negative or positive? Oh, you're too tight to pay six quid. Yeah. But my opinion is, if you're not paying, if you don't want to pay to come in, you don't want to come in in the first place. That's my. That's my. Yeah, it's exactly like I'm. I'm all for paid entrance. It. It pays for like some of the workers, like, who like, clean up the park. Yeah, paying six quid, it just helps, like, keep the park a bit more cleaner. Yeah. You know, instead of having everyone coming in, like, causing more of a mess, it means more work. Yeah. At the end of the day. The thing is, if, it, if it's free entry, anyone can walk in, anyone can throw the rubbish on the floor, anyone can block the toilets, they can vandalise, they'll never be traceable because they will have gone in one way and out the other. Yeah. And also, the school trips are now a possibility for families who can't get here, maybe, but their kids can with their school. They've got a safe environment, they've got Nickelodeon land, which wouldn't have come without the paid entry. So, I don't think it's as bad as people make it. I appreciate that the locals don't like it, but they're used to being able to walk in for free. 
but they can get a season pass for like 15 quid which oh, lets them walk around all year yeah that's, that's cheap that's what becca paid for her walk around pass this 15, year 15 pounds walk around the whole year and come see the rides and maybe see a few other bits and pieces probably discounts on some other bits yeah You've probably got i don't know what discounts are part of it if you get an fy4 or an fy postcode i think you get discounted season passes anyway yeah. So, but for 15 quid, if you just pay a normal season pass for going in, it's nothing. You can just come in, just enjoy yourself. Yeah, exactly. You can play some of the stupid games that um, HP Leisure have got. You know, I know it probably affects them a little bit. Yeah. But at the end of the day, this like, keeps the park nice and tidy. Yeah. And doesn't have any problems. And uh, no problems with security. Not only that, but there's in the, in the as you just said, in the modern modern climate of the way the country is at yeah. the moment. And security in general. Exactly. Security generally, yeah. You you don't you, you need to know exactly who's coming in and out. Yeah. I went to Western Supermare yesterday, and even their peers are paid entry. They're a quid. That's it. A quid? Yeah, that's nothing. It's a nugget, basically. Yeah. What else can you get for a quid? Not Cheese much, burger. yeah. yeah. Um, well, you would say that, you used to work for Mackey. It's like, I've been to Leeds Valentine's Fair, it's a quid to get into there. Yeah. It's a quid, that's mainly paying for security, it's just started tipping it down again, it seems. Yes. But, you know, a quid to get into a fair, right? you think, well, that's a bit scaly, but it pays for the security of the place. Yeah, it does. And, oh, We're yeah. about to get soaked. Yeah. But we are about to. six quid for a big park like this, it's nothing. No, it's exactly. Nothing and also you have to consider that in that six pound you can come on the pleasure beach express as many times as you want you can sit and watch the fountain which cost the pleasure beach about a million pounds to put in yeah. you can it's not like you pay six pound for nothing no so i keep seeing i've seen some comments on like like what valley's facebook page saying oh why do you do a non-riders thing like well we charge for an entry regardless yeah it's just one of the things yeah, Pleasure Beach, you've got the option to come in. If you if your grand, if you say you've got your grand coming in, I don't want to ride it, but I want to see you riding the rides, yeah, fine. Yeah. It's fine, like, she can have a nice relaxed ride on the Pleasure Beach Express or have a little walk around the um, Chinese That's maze. That's it, you've got the maze as well. You've got the maze, you've got the fountains that she can probably enjoy, like, and see, see her, like, uh, grandkids go off on the rides. Yeah. Exactly. And, and they're kind of supervised then. Something they couldn't do at Alton Towers without right. paying 50 odd quid. Exactly. And I'm not having to go at Towers, I'm just, it's an example. Yeah, I could use any other, any, any other park, I could use as an example. Right. I mean, like, as an example, yeah. like, as an example, you've got Fantasy Island in Skegness. Some of the people that go to that park yeah. are utter scumbags. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, and, and you don't get them here anymore. No. You used to get them in the 90s and they'd be smoking, weed, causing fights with the staff and generally just a nuisance you don't get that now no. it's a lot peaceful it's a lot more peaceful nicer. here now yeah they've done they've done a lot better it's gone all dark now it would be nice if we could stop here just for 10 minutes while the rain goes off <laughs> it's quite slowed down for me to be fair yeah true well i can still see mike because of the color of his jacket jesus so oh no he's gone i can see the light at the end of the tunnel though <laughs> reach out for the light <laughs> <laughs> right, the next subject is something that we quite often get pelters for, is for defending the Pleasure Beach's opening times, when on a day like today, would you want the park to be open 10 o'clock till midnight when it's belting it down? Well, I, bet it, I bet this place will be dead, unless there's a major upturn in the weather anytime yeah. soon, this place will be dead by 4 o'clock. Yeah. I, I would not fault the park for deciding to shut 5 o'clock today. No. Don't get me wrong, like I would absolutely love to see the, the late closes come back on a Saturday when we're at peak season. But until Icon opens, <laughs> we are not going to see like heaving Saturdays like we will next year. People. My, my words, four o'clock. Yeah. 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 And also, something else to consider is that people are waiting to come here next year. They're not coming here this year and they're not going to Towers because they're waiting for the new ride. And also, the general British media are causing all sorts of trouble for the yeah. UK park industry. And the fact that Francis, whatever his second name is, has to come out and film a video every time there's an evac at Towers is ridiculous. Got a page. Yeah, 
That's that's how crazy it's got. Yeah, it's well, pathetic. Well, what was it? Oblivion got evac from last week. One hundred eighty yeah. foot was it? Yeah, it's I yeah. Know, I don't think it's even that high that point. Exactly. But well, that's what the media is saying, it's 180 but foot. But they're taking consideration of the drop. Yeah. Oh look at that sky. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. But you know, it's like media's blown some media's blown out of proportion. God damn it well. Yeah. You know, I think like we need a boycott on this media because Agreed. This is wrong. I think the park should stop giving them free tickets. The park yeah. sell their papers for free tickets. We are about oh, to get the sun. Yeah, we are about to get absolutely soaked and the camera is going in my pocket. So we've been <laughs> rained off of the Pleasure Beach Express quite literally. We are <laughs> sitting in the dry. And I'll go back to Mark first. Hi. Hello. You were going on about park opening times, so are you happy with the general sort of times Pleasure Beach open at ten till seven in the summer? Yeah, yeah that's generally okay. Like um lot of British public don't generally want to stay on too late they want to get some dinner and things like that yeah you know a lot of people compare to the open times in uk to spanish ones like like porto ventura open site 3 a.m we discussed this earlier yeah. off camera like, Sp like spanish have a siesta time it's in their culture yeah to eat a lot later and <coughs> stay up a lot later that's their culture at the end of the day so that's why they're open till ridiculous o'clock in the morning <laughs> yeah exactly you know, that's and how they have the weather for it yeah they yeah, got the weather <laughs> Oh, look at this, this is... Imagine being here till like midnight in this weather. Just yeah. no thanks. You go home with like pneumonia. Yeah. You'd end up in the hospital for three weeks recovering. It's just, yeah, no thanks. I wish he'd sit down. <laughs> yeah, sit down. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I personally would like to see Pleasure Beach open till yeah. later, but, but at not, but for, permitting. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I should, I should talk to the camera for yeah. a change. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see the Pleasure Beach open like till nine o'clock, but only when the demand is there. So yeah, when it's 20 odd degrees in Blackpool and the whole of the Northwest has come to the Pleasure Beach, or Blackpool, yeah, open till <laughs> nine o'clock. Yeah. But on a day like this, no, five o'clock close will do the job. Yeah. There's like us three and about 20 other people on the rides at the minute and even we've given up and we're hardcore enthusiasts yeah. so we yeah. don't get absolute soaked that's no. the thing yeah we do rise and rain all the time but at the end of the day we don't want to get absolutely drenched and go home drenched we've got i've got a couple hours drive you've got <coughs> about hours it's still an hour and a bit and that's yeah. the thing it's just and mike's not got the lace for this kind of weather <laughs> mike thought we were going to spain today yeah so it I last year, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and anyway, because everyone likes to know, what shirt have you got on today? It's uh, AEK Athens. So you're going, you're going Greek. Greek. Going Greek. Yellow Greek. <laughs> He's our Mancunian Greek for the day. <laughs> Can you speak any Greek though? That's the thing. Not a word. Not a word. Not a word. <laughs> of course. I've just realised you, you've got your favourite place behind you, Burger King. He's <laughs> <laughs> a Mackey's man, aren't you, Mike? I am. <laughs> 99p, I've just picked up a cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> right, Mark, what is your favourite overall coaster? What? In Everywhere. Uh, Exhibition G Force at Holiday Park in Germany. Least favourite coaster. <laughs> you, I knew you were going to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Antelope Gulliver's Warrington. I only rode it once, but I went back and I didn't like it. No. Even though it's the most, it's the newest Woody at the moment yeah. in the UK, it's still not very good. Expectations for SW8? Yeah, um, I've been on some awesome movies like Troy and uh, Kukulin. Yeah. Put it this way, this is not a coincidence, it just happens that we've made, both me and Scott are wearing the same blue and hoodie. Yeah. I, um, I just don't know. Kukulin or Troy? Troy. Kukulin for me. <laughs> Fair enough. Troy was rough last year. Fair enough. I've but they've retracted it, haven't they? Yeah, I've read it quite a lot of times in wet and dry now, so... Yeah. Right, we know your favourite coaster, so least favourite coaster. Ooh. Coaster Express. In terms of coasters I actively dislike, Coaster Express is up there. Part Warner, yeah? Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, I have to agree, it is all. That's all, along with its cousins, Bandit and the one at Termitica. Yeah, I've heard they're all dreadful. Yeah. I mean, I've been I've on got, Coaster oh, Express. I've got a ride Bandit in about four weeks. God uh, damn it. Roller Coaster Review Show. No, I've already reviewed that one. Have you done it? Yeah, yeah. this time around it'll be uh, the Star Trek Coaster. Good stuff. That's, that's exclusive for there at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't Even think... Even though I've kind of hinted, I haven't told you what it was, but 
on the left coast of the yard kind of hints to two goes as one brand. Yeah, one. I think you'll actually beat Theme Park worldwide to do into Star Trek one. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, I'll beat him to let beat him to let coast anyway. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think I was the first UK review test, weren't I? I think so. One of the first. Looked like we were two of the first on Red Force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually, yeah. So, least favourite coaster is Coaster Express for you? Probably. There is another coaster that I actively dislike and I can't remember what it is. There's a lot of coasters that are just sort of meh. Not, yeah. Not really keen. Things like the Smiler. Oh, God. Not, not digging, but yeah. it's one of them I don't. I'm very indifferent to. I'm not a massive fan of it. I go on it every now and again. Yeah. So I, but I, I wouldn't go as far as say I actively dislike it. I just don't think it's very good. Fair um, enough. But Coast Express, I actively dislike it. It is that rough and horrible. And I've never. I've got the misfortune of going on that in two weeks. Yeah. i I don't think I'm yet to hear anyone say a good word about it. No. So, has the missus been on it? Yes. Uh, so you don't actually have to ride it? We do get a POV of it. Uh, okay. Maybe. We'll maybe. see. You'll if, see. Yeah. If the camera stays straight for long enough. Yeah, that's true, because it'll just be like that, won't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, uh, it's rough. It's dog rough. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So what else do we want to talk about? Because it seems as we're undercover. Well, we're stuck here for a while, aren't we? Now? Yeah. It's like one of them scenes on a film where three people are stuck in the desert and they just talk shite. <laughs> <laughs> so, so very true, very true. It's a bit like that at the minute. So uh, we've been talking about the construction process of oh, Icon and uh, yeah, SW8. So, so right, right we're we... getting a lot of people saying, why is SW8 going up so quickly and Icon isn't going up quickly? Right, this is how it works. Icon is being manufactured by Mac. It is being built in Germany. Alton Towers coaster SW8 is being built on site, and as you can see, it's going up really quickly. But the thing is, not many people people forget about the Smiler. Like, like the track came in like um, late October, didn't it? Yes. You know, still it got brought in. Whereas with Woolies, they've actually got constructed on site, except for the intermin prefabs. Yeah. Like Balder and Colossus Heidi. Yeah, that's how they do it. Like do it like steel coaster, but. We have a lot of these woodies that have to construct on site. Hey, look at the Cedar Points one. They're um, well redoing it, yeah. but they're doing it on site. Exactly. Steel coasters, I mean, the big one was not even built on site. The big one took ages to go up. I'm sure Nemesis took ages to go up. Woodies go up really quickly, as we've seen in the past. I mean, look how quick Q Cullen went up. Yeah. It went up in no time, didn't it? Yeah. There's also a big difference here. Towers have rightly closed Demolished, flattened, I mean, okay, we, we don't agree with the fact that the lock frame's gone, that's well covered, but they've rightly cleared the whole area, flattened it, closed it to the public, built or opened up alternative public access routes to that side of the park so that they can just flat out, work, work on through it. the summer, get it done before the bad weather comes in. Towers in, in recent years have made the mistake of trying to put things up over the winter, after the park shut, kept and everything it, a secret, and yeah, then they paid for it. it. Yeah, they've got to go. What I see with this one, no secrets, no hidden agendas. Get it up. There it is. Everyone will. Everyone will be able to see it by by the end of the season. Yeah, they've got they've got that land to play with. Yeah. Well, the the coaster's going there. Yeah. The, I, I'm in sight of three rides. Yeah. Four rides. I now. mean, the camera's not picking it up, and I'm not going out in the rain. But if you know Pleasure Beach, you know that in this area, there's Big Dipper, Skyforce, Big One, Steeplechase, Revolution, Pleasure Beach Express. That is what the Pleasure Beach are dealing with with Icon. And Avalanche. Yeah. See Avalanche just in the distance as well. Yeah, exactly. I'm in sight of four rides that would probably all have to shut if you were to start doing steel work now. Yeah. Exactly. Four rides that this park cannot afford to shut in, well, I would say the peak of summer, but it's smashing it down. Yeah. <laughs> but, but soon it's the illuminations and they need everything open. They need everything open. Here, you've got, they can come in, shut everything at the end of the seat. Okay, there may be the last couple of weekends, you may see certain rides closed. That's possibly going to happen. I would bet. I wouldn't bet against PV being shut towards the end of the season. Yeah, that's yeah. it. To get things moving. I mean, but 
um, yeah, you, you just can't do it here. You can do steel work and track work, whatever. But that area over there alone, and you can't do anything else. That and the fact that it's got to go to Bolton to be painted and then shipped up here. It's also worth mentioning how many times have Pleasure Beach experience been wrong since Project 2018 first came into life? Very rarely. We have good sources at the Pleasure Beach, official sources as well. In our updates, we post accurate information. We don't post, oh, the track might be coming then. Oh, we're going to do a vlog because I can do one. And I'm going to tell you all about Icon, but I don't know anything about it. We actually do these updates with knowledge that we've gained off people in the know, or people who've actually said, you can put this in one of your update videos because you won't get in trouble for doing it. So I wish people had listened to us when we said the track work is not happening until the end of the year. That is just the way it is. It's Word is October. Yeah, October, November. I mean, I saw a video filmed on opening weekend. I'm not going to mention the channel, but he's got everything wrong in all of his icon updates so far. He was saying that the track work would be here over the summer. No chance. No chance. No, there's, not, there's actually no track work here. No, exactly. It's just still and a bit of a tunnel. That's about it. Yeah. What they're actually doing at the moment is the some of the the other the other stuff that needs doing. There's a shop needs building. There's a tunnel needs building. There's a station's going to need building. Yeah, exactly. They've got that's in an area that's a substation is going to need building. Yeah. That's in an area that is completely shut to the public. So that's the area that you, that you work on. Just to close this subject, there's a video in our Icon playlist called Insightful Information about Icon at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Watch it. It's a technical director telling you the whole schedule for Icon. We posted it up in March. It's really worth watching. It'll tell you all you need to know about the construction process. And on that subject, I'm going to move on now. The flowers are very nice. <laughs> after that. Oh yeah, no it's slow today actually. Not as mild as it normally is, but yeah, I'm glad to be back on it to be fair. About time really, third yeah. time of asking this year. Yeah, exactly. Third time, get a go, at long last. Enjoy it Mike. Oh yeah, as usual, very good. Good stuff. Very wild. And we've now got a Graham with us. <laughs> Enjoy it? Yeah, very much so. Running a bit slow like Mark said though. Yeah. Well, it has just the top, top, top there. So was yeah. Quite slow, but yeah, brilliant. You Good. Never thought the wild mouse, can you? Oh no, it's brilliant. It has just chucked it out, so that would explain the lack. Of yeah, don't be, don't be put off by the sun now because it's not been like this. Yeah, it's not going to be like that for long. <laughs> hey, saw earlier, so you know. Yeah. Say now, but yes, one of the rich days. So now we've got a very important question: Wallace and Gromit or gold mine? Um, I'll be honest, even though Goldmine was a good thing at its time, but it had to get rethemed and redone up. Yeah. You know, and obviously with the recent passing of the actor who did the Wallace, you know, I say Wallace. Wallace. Gold mines, I think. Is that nostalgia speaking? I, I can't say well nostalgia and. Good well, big. But gold mines had, I was saying this to Sean last week. Goldmine had something going on all the time yeah. where well, Wallace and Gromit's dark and then something goes on it's dark and yeah. so I always prefer Goldmine for that. I would say if the lights were on Wallace and Gromit because you yeah. see a lot more yeah. but for that Goldmine yeah. the noises of the Goldmine like yeah, the yeah. drilling and yeah. stuff dink, yeah dink, dink, dink. dink. oh my too, darling <laughs> I don't remember too much of the Goldmine because it was before I visited regularly yeah so, true I remember the Goldmine quite well in there and yeah, it was a good ride, and obviously all the stuff was always going on, but it needed a revamp. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, it needed a revamp. No yeah, doubt about it. But I wish we kept the same theme. Yeah, really. agree. It just needed modernised, I think. Yeah. But there you go. Where now? Sunlight's reflecting on it too much. Yeah, well, I think that's for more of the people that say you're getting things wrong. Yeah, it is. <laughs> or it's laughing at people saying that the entrance is going to be there. Oh, come on. No, I won't. No. Wear shorts in any weather. 
His name is Michael Buck. <laughs> and he likes LG. You got an LG phone? No. You got an LG telly? No. You got LG anything? No. Oh well. <laughs> What, well, what LG actually means large gut. <laughs> Shocking. Large gob. Large gob. Yeah. yeah, large gob. We'll go with that. We could all be accused of that, though. Yeah. Big one, then. Again. So we're off to do the big one. Looking forward to another ride on the UK's tallest coaster, Mr. Mushroom. Yeah. Yes. Simple as that. Yeah, it's just fine things like UK tourist. It's all right. Well, I ain't right. got much Tell competition. Again, how many times have you been yeah. on the big one now? Twelve thousand. I'm dead five times. Twelve thousand. That's just mad. Right, back again, Brian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Brian is the legend of the big one. Yeah. You used to work on it, didn't you? Yes. Good yeah. stuff. What year? Was it when it opened? Uh, two, uh, 2001. 2001. Hey, I'm going to turn this on. So we've just had another ride on the big one. Again, I've seen comments about it being rough. It's 23 year old, it's gonna be a bit bumpy. It's kind of smooth at the front, jeez. Exactly, can't please everyone. You enjoy it, Mike? I did. Yeah, it's a little stuff. bit slower than this morning, but. Yeah, well the wind's picked <laughs> up on it. Yeah. So I can't say a fault them because the wind's, it's going. the wind's got really bad. They're doing really well to keep it running, to be honest. The dispatch time's been really quick, so they're just stopping it from getting cold wheels so enjoy it Mike definitely yeah not too rough for you too rough never no never know that it's too rough no never. agreed to be fair it is 23 year old and it's taken a battering from the elements and we know what our old dynamics don't exactly make straight tracks well, to no, start the, with the corners are generally quite square <laughs> so I was pleased with the ride on it and I think the, the other two were so right. and Brian's on his 12,300 and 36th go something would it be now? Yeah, something like that. What do you think of that, Mark? Ridiculous. Absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. How he's counted from 94 all the way to now. Easy. It's his notepad. His notepad. Yeah. So it's kind of ridiculous how he managed to keep it up. It's good. It's good. You can't fault his determination. <laughs> What's the ride you've ridden the most? Do you know? No, I know. No idea. For me, it will be the big one, but I don't know how many times. You any idea? It's probably the big one for me. Yeah. But again, count wise. Yeah, I haven't got a clue. I know it's I hit. In the easily in the hundreds. Well, I hit a thousand on it in 2009 and then I stopped counting, so I don't know. It's in the high hundreds, mine, I think. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, We'll take a rain check on Avalanche and we'll go and do the Thompson's Vintage Carousel. And Mark's thinking, what the hell is he on about? <laughs> I'm just like, look at that, really? No, really? no, not really, no. I was joking. We have just walked past the Revolution, which had no cue. The clown thinks it's funny. Where are we going? Just blinding the viewers for the sun again. And Mike's shirt. We're talking about the weather. Well, it's nice and sunny now. Sunny. 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 Over there, Tenerife. Over in Tenerife. Tenerife. So we've uh, returned from Weatherspoons after dinner. The weather has changed. I think we've entered into a different dimension. 
<laughs> Graham's such left us Blackpool. again. Yeah, such as Blackpool. Microclimate. So uh, we've had another go on the big one. You've been on Steeplechase. How did you find Steeplechase? Right. I I was, yeah, he won, but only because the uh, his lane with the middle lane. But How I was find... dispatched about five seconds after you. Yeah, but the middle lane had fast lift hill and second lift hill. All ifs and buts. But Mook bought one. <laughs> but we're pretty much equal when we're not on the lift hill, so. See, this improvement in the weather has seen more people turn up. We now have an almost full train on the Pleasure Beach Express. Sorry if I've just blinded all the viewers with the sun. <laughs> the uh, big one queue is still not too bad though, which is all good. Sorry if I've just blinded you with the sun again. <laughs> so what's your next park trip, Mark? Um, off to Germany. Off to Germany? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have some beer. Good you stuff. Know? Oktoberfest or a bit no, early? No, for no, that. A bit, a little, I think it may be a few weeks too early, plus I'm not going down Munich way. Nah, fair dues. Yeah, it's going flying, flying to Dortmund. Dortmund? Ooh. Yeah, Mike's favourite team. Yeah. Viewers may have seen a Dortmund shirt somewhere before. Yeah, <laughs> look, to be fair, the current one you've got on looks a it bit like it. Yeah. No, it's yellow. Is it a new one, is it? No. No. Just dug it out. Not a long time. Good stuff. So what's your next park trip? Probably here, isn't it? More than likely, yeah. Yeah, That's you are actually up. glowing. Yeah! It's gonna be here over the summer sometime. Yeah, a big shout out to Mike, he's nearly 40. Hey. <laughs> or is it 30? <laughs> Three quarters on the way to four. <laughs> no, let's hope for some big dipper action. Uh, oh, 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 maybe. maybe. Oh. maybe. It's like we've never seen it before. What's that? Same ride Black tunnel. The other 92 years. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's a bit longer than 92. Seems as it had its 90th, 90th birthday in 2013 that you were here for. We were with someone else on that trip. <laughs> now I'm the sleep sex. Have you fun in the fountains? Yeah. Just a bit. Ah. Moist. It is. You having to go at the world record attempt? No. No. <laughs> we have F14 is part of summertime games. Here at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. If you want to leave the Blackpool Pleasure Beach officially amazing, come on down. We have an official attempt show at five o'clock today. That is the last one for the day. But that's where we'll be back again. Forward to a blast of ice, Mark. Oh yeah, I haven't done it for a while, so it'd be quite kind of nice. Did you do it when it was PlayStation the ride? I think my first ride was like 2006, very probably. No not. then. No. It was very forceful back in those days. Just thought I'd mention that there's a, a very big difference from Monday when this particular ride here, as, as we all know as Valhalla, had like an hour's queue. <laughs> and today, walk on. Yeah. Nice blue sky, but you feeling it? Nah. No, me neither. Enjoy ice blast. I don't trust the weather not to turn as soon as we come off it. What, you mean like a Pleasure Beach Express? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the weather looks all right. We'll go on it. Douche soaked. Hey, uh, enjoy ice blast. Yeah, it was good. Nice. Glass of ice. No, there's no ice on it, but you know. Ice blast. Ice not blast. How would you compare it to the Frill Towers at Ferrari Land? Oh, Frill Towers are... I don't know. They're not very good, are they? No. Bad name as well. Yeah. They could have called them like Pistons or something like that. Should have called it Observation Tower, something <laughs> like that. My opinion on SNS Shot Tower rides, not very good. Sorry, Ice Blast. It's just not very good anymore. Not part of one is Easter. You think? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I enjoyed that one. I just think they're all a bit crap. Yeah. But yeah. Derby Racer? Yeah. Let's do it. Thank <laughs> you. 
So as you've probably guessed, we're on the Pleasure Beach Express. Again. We've done the big one loads of times. We've done Ice Blast, we've done the Revolution, we've tried to do Avalanche, we've not had much luck with that today. We're gonna to do the Big Dipper soon. For me, it's been a really good day, a really chill day. You don't have to run around the Pleasure Beach to get on all the rides in the opening times. Eight, nine hours, it's more than enough time to get on everything you want more than once. And I'm sure Mike and Mark agree with me. Yeah. I've yeah. just gone really for a chill day, chill with friends and just ride some coasters, you know. And you've even had dinner at Weatherspoons. Just can't beat it. <laughs> <laughs> well you can, probably at TJ Fridays, but you know, yeah. those things is a good stop. Yeah, it's uh, better than some of the things that you can eat around in Blackpool, that's yeah. for sure. Trust me, I know. Yeah. I've done it when I've been drunk. <laughs> yeah. Aren't we all? Aren't yeah. we all? Although those days are long gone now, to be fair. Yeah, so we've not been on Infusion yet. Mark's really gutted. So I'm thinking we're going to go on it for him in a bit. Yeah, right. <laughs> to be honest, you won't be surrounded by Infusion. Well, Infusion, the trains are bad, the trains are bad. It's rough as hell. I've heard one at Energy Land here recently. And it's got brand new trains. Yeah, it's a bit bumpy, but don't get bashed in the head. So. Tell us what you really think. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, no. Mike likes Infusion. Mike likes Infusion. He does. Uh, and if you if you didn't know that, you've not watched the ride review that we did of it, where he <laughs> says that he so likes watch it. it. Yeah, exactly. Where Mike says he's he really likes it about 20 times. But yeah, why not? It's not my favourite, but it looks good. Looks even better at night. <laughs> it does. It looks fantastic at night. Definitely. So as you can see, we're in the burgundy coloured carriage. The rest of them are green. I don't know if you watched my vlog from the other day, but yeah, this is basically because Pleasure Beach has been really busy during school trips time. So they increased the capacity of the Pleasure Beach Express. <laughs> Looking forward to the dipper. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't want to be in the Moss Machine video. <laughs> he might well go in one now, he watches us, you know. Ah, oh, probably. <laughs> he, gets a sh he always gets a shout out. Uh, does he now? Yeah, we oh, always right. give him a shout out. Yeah. He probably doesn't really know Mushroom Productions anyway, so... No, Mushroom Productions, that's what you want to see. Yeah, just reviews of rollercoaster, POVs of rollercoasters and vlogs at times. Everyone should watch Mushroom Productions. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, plug it, plug it. Yeah, youtube.com forward slash Mushroom Productions. Latest review is now up of Lek Coaster as well as World Coaster Formula One, both from Poland. So, and before Theme Park Worldwide got it. Yep, before Theme Park Worldwide got it. Before most people got it. Before to be fair. Theme Park Review got it, I think. Uh, they may have nicked a POV, that's about it, but um, before pretty much anyone else has got it. Yeah. Do you want that, Albie? Anyone that's properly got it, you mean? Yeah. So we're looking forward to the dipper, gents. We are. I am. Back row? No. Why not? I, want, I, I can't walk as it is. No, that's true. I could do without me back being knackered now as well. Yeah, fair enough. We could do back row. Yeah, I'll go for it. Yeah. <laughs> or front row. Yeah, right, I'm, I'm going to wrap up this vlog because my battery's nearly dead. So, good times at Pleasure Beach. Yeah. Yeah. What's that face there? <laughs> 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 yeah, he's definitely <laughs> going in the mosh machine. <laughs> Ah, uh, probably. I'm just putting random faces, why yeah. not? You're lucky that video's just gone up, so he's not had a chance to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you'd definitely be the player. <laughs> <laughs>
So, favorite ride of the day, worst ride of the day? Big one. Oh, no, I don't have the worst one. It's been alright today, actually. Pleasure Beach Express in the rain, that was the worst one. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, true. Oh, today's just been generally a nice, chill day. That's how it should be. Yeah. Happy with the opening hours? Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, Bob on. It just needed it today, even though we're quarter well, six right now. Well, I said it probably died by four. What time is it now? Quarter to six. Yeah, so it, 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 you were two hours out, but to be fair, the weather got the weather good. Up, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That's yeah, it. I mean, yeah, that's it. So we'll see you all in the next Pleasure Beach Experience video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! <laughs>